Paizon Hall of Famer in all of our eyes, football legend, Michael Lombardi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Happy New Year to everybody. Hope all is well. I love watching the show. It's awesome. Well, I loved it. Great year. Going to be a great season. Hell, hey, Wamba, well, that felt great right there. Yeah, hell yeah. We've been hearing a lot of other, you know, a lot of the other <laughs> stuff over the last 12 hours or so. So I needed that from somebody that I have great respect for. We were just talking about Michael Penix, and obviously yeah. the world got to see him uh, in the Sugar Bowl. I, I think it was, how many million was it? 13, 14, 15? No, 20, Tw- yeah, 27. Yeah, 20, Rose Bowl 20, is 27. Yeah, that was Rose Bowl. I think Bowl. it was like 20, 21, 22 for the Sugar Bowl. I think 24 million peak. Yeah. For, so 24 million people at one point were watching him do his thing because he was doing his thing throughout the entire game, obviously. But all year he's been doing this. And their weapons have obviously been fantastic. Feels like he's an NFL guy. Feel, it, like very much oh, yeah. an NFL. How come he's not in the conversation at the very top alongside Caleb and Drake? Is it because the ACLs or what is it? No, I think a lot of this early talk is never accurate, right? I think oh. it's a lot of misinformation. I think well, ultimately, once the season's over, not on this show. Easy, Not on this show. Easy. Yeah. Easy. You know, I I think this. Here, when I watch that tape, when I watch that game, I, I I immediately went back to that helmet behind me, the Raider helmet, where Al Davis would have just fell in love because his deep ball accuracy was not good not rare. It was beyond rare. I mean, you couldn't have walked the ball to the receiver any better than he threw it. And he's done this. Remember, when he was in Indiana with the board, he was very good. And I think Washington has been misvalued in the market because, you know, they win a close game against Utah. They win a close game against Oregon State. Then another one against Washington State. But he had rib problems. He might have had broken ribs. We don't know. We don't get an injury report. But this kid is exceptional. He plays a little stiff in his lower body, but it doesn't translate to the accuracy and the rhythm that he plays with. I mean, it was outstanding. If Al Davis saw him, oh, he could be thinking about Cliff Branch running over routes to this guy. <laughs> like, here, here's how important that deep ball is. We talk about the Chiefs, right? It's hard to believe that Desmond Ritter of the Atlanta Falcons has 18 passes completed over 20 yards and Patrick Mahomes only has 15. Like, <sighs> think about that for a minute, right? Like, that is, they're trying to get the ball down the field. They can't quite do it. It isn't because Mahomes isn't accurate. It's just hard. When you have somebody that can make plays on the third level, that can hit that home run, all of a sudden you've got two, three play drives that are just remarkable. And that's a value that most NFL teams want. And you're visualizing watching him play. What offense would you play with him? I mean, I'd make sure I have really explosive receivers down the field uh, because he can make the throws. Devontae Adams over there. You yep. know, I, I'm not saying that that isn't a perfect friend for a quarterback, but certainly feels like a perfect guy mm-hmm. for Michael Penix, especially with all of the routes that he came around. You get a guy that can take the top off, which seemingly coming out of college, there's a lot of these guys these days. Oh, yeah. That are just like coming up through seven on sevens in high school and their contested catches and their route running and their hands are just better earlier than they have been in the past. It's like, Couple quick things you got to fix. Now you got to be able to protect them, though, right? I mean, you got to be able right. to. No question. Obviously, got to be able to. And protect. Washington, Pat Washington does a great job. I mean, I, I don't know why the board isn't being talked about as a potential NFL head coach. You know, I know there's Ooh. the conversation out there at Jim Harbaugh. I get that, but the board's been successful every place he's ever been. NIIA. You know, when he went to Indiana, they were winning games. Then he goes to Fresno State, they win games. This guy's a really good football coach, yeah. and he knows how to coach the quarterback which I think is a huge value. Plus, he runs a program. You know, this Washington, I don't think a lot of people in this generation know the history behind how great Washington's program is and what a big-time football school that has always been. And this guy's put it back on the map. So, look, you know, I'm sure Washington will do everything in their power, but you have to give Jennifer Cohen, the former woman athletic director there at Washington, for hiring him. I mean, that was a great hire. Great hire, and he was great at Fresno State. He's been great everywhere he's been. Yeah, he. Uh, I got a chance to chat with him whenever we went and had game day over there. He's been nothing but cool to us. Yeah, yeah. weapon. Yeah, he, he's like, anytime we've sent a request for him to come on the show, he's like, well, I, I have a – like, he's actually t- – other media calls he has moved to come on. Like, he has been very – very cool to us. Oh, he, Indiana obviously ties before he goes up there, but like, yep. I like how cool he was. Mm-hmm. Like, everything was just, it was very professional outfit, to your point about like NFL talk. The team operated that way. They all loved him. They all bought in. And when we went to game day over there, 6 a.m. local, that place was packed. You talk about it being a great school and a great program, and that had been lost for a little bit. It's like, 
Huge. They love the football.